Hello everyone, this is Julia from Avalon Rituals. Thank you so much for tuning in to this weekly energy update. I'm doing this every Monday. I pull cards from the Tarot and the Lenormand or the Lenormand, that's what they say in English, um, to just have a little bit of an overview what to expect this week. So what I can recommend for you as well is to maybe check out last week's energy update to see if the messages were relatable to you, if you resonated with the messages. And also use this video now as a little guideline so maybe you want to save this video and come back also maybe at the middle of the week or even again at the end of the week um, to use this video just as a little guideline to help you slide through the week. And before we start with this reading now and with the messages that will appear, as you can guess here on this beautiful rainbow wall, um, I'm going to play this singing bowl for you to send out some relaxation and healing energies from this beautiful place called Glastonbury for the people who doesn't uh, who, for the people who don't know Glastonbury. Glastonbury is also known as the magical sacred isle of Avalon. So maybe you have heard about King Arthur, Merlin and all the priestesses. That's basically here. That's where uh, the legend is based around and it's also known as the heart chakra of the earth. So that's a very special energetic place that sends out or that helps people really to heal the emotional body and the heart. Which doesn't mean it's always a nice journey, it sometimes goes quite deep, but um, therefore I would really like to send out some healing energies for you and some relaxation energies and I'm gonna do this with my singing bowl. Ta-da! If you don't like this, if you would like to just skip to the reading, I'd say go around three minutes into the future now from this moment and just start with your reading. And for everybody else who is ready to receive some healing energies with the singing bowl from this beautiful place, just close your eyes and relax. You can take a deep breath into your belly, feel the energy flowing into your body and breathe out. Take another deep breath into your belly, feel the fresh energy flowing into your body again, releasing all the negative and low vibrational energies and breathe out. And if you like, you can visualize the air that you're breathing in as a white golden light that is helping you to release any tension in your physical body, in your mental body, or your emotional body. And then you breathe out everything that does not longer serve you. And every time you breathe out, you feel more relaxed. All you need to do is focus on your breathing and visualize the white golden light flowing into your body, stretching out into every part of your body, your being, to every cell, floating into your aura now, releasing energy blockages. When you breathe out, you also breathe out those heavy energies and the blockages and you release them simply by breathing out. Just focus a little bit more on this process. any tension left in your body just visualize with your next breath that you take in this white golden light 
is flowing to this area, softening the tension, releasing the tension, and then you breathe it out. Just continue in your own natural breathing rhythm. like you can open your eyes again in case you haven't done that already come back to the video and what I'm gonna do now is you will see the cards as I've said here on the left and let's see we are going to start with this pile I have three different piles of cards blocks and number one all right I'm working with the Soul Card Tarot and I have no idea what the Lenormand is called uh, because I don't know where the package is so I can't tell you exactly how it's like what the name of the specific Lenormand is. Anyway you see the cards over here now and the first card I have is the Three of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Now the Three of Cups can talk about a group situation. Um, doesn't necessarily need to be in love, it could simply be coming together with friends. Um, it could be a reconciliation energy, maybe you meet someone again, maybe uh, you meet a specific group of people, a specific um, yeah, friend circle again. Um, it's a really beautiful card that says you're gonna enjoy the time fully and especially with the ace of pentacles it might be something new that is being born out of it um, a group of people maybe that's a new group a new circle a new social circle and something that is being born out of it something that is being created which leads me to the other option of the three of cups it's a very creative energy so maybe you feel inspired to be creative this week and create something new especially with the ace of pentacles which is a beautiful Beautiful card for new beginnings, for new manifestation, which could of course relate to your work or everything that you value or everything that is related to worth, which means it could mean a new level of self-worth through your art or through your creativity maybe, um, or related to that topic. Or it could relate to new finances coming in or something that you start to build that is manifesting now that is a solid or has the potential to be something really solid and stable. So we do have a very very beautiful card here. Um, also what I want to say is just because this is the first um, pile of cards it doesn't mean that this is the beginning of the week it could also mean that this is something you experience at the end and since I have three different um, piles here uh, do you say piles <laughs> is it the right thing to say maybe you want to uh, tell me in the comments because I'm obviously as you <laughs> might have heard German so uh, I don't know if that's the right say uh, thing to say if it's a pile but you know what I mean and maybe you want to write it down the comments because I'm going to do this now every Monday <laughs> and every Monday I will say piles unless someone says I need to say something different. Um, coming back to the reading. Um, yes, it could be that all everything that is showing up now is one situation for you. It could mean that this is now something that is at the end or the middle of the week just because I'm starting with it now it doesn't need to mean that this is the first thing that is happening just for your uh, information uh, yeah three of cups beautiful energy uh, an energy of having a beautiful time of being creative of enjoying life maybe in a certain group maybe a celebration something new is going to start here and now we have the cards of the Lenormand here which is also very interesting because it might be we have different options the house could literally be your house maybe you are redecorating curating your house and making changes in your house which is literally all the three cards here 
on the bottom it's the house it's your house it's the stalk that's a change and then we have the uh, the flowers which is beautifying something being creative again we again have this creative energy here so maybe this week you're literally gonna use for creating your environment creating your home making changes beautifying everything maybe feeling like spring is there you're gonna have a deep cleanse a spring cleanse which could also refer to your inner life because that's the second meaning of the house the house can stand for your inner life so maybe there is something related to your inner life where you feel suddenly i do get with the three of cups really a beautiful energy of being like like a fountain of creativity of excitement that that's the energy I get here. So the first five cards are super beautiful. It's excitement, it's new, it's changes, it's a positive change, new manifestations. And again, that could be related to your inner life. Maybe you're going to do a cleanse, right? So maybe there's some something that you're going to do where there's a positive change inside of you. Maybe you want to do a cleanse, a fast. Um, that could be something here. Um, it could also be related again to your self-worth and um, because the flowers can talk about appreciation, um, being appreciated. Therefore, also there's some relation to the topic of worth, of valuing something, same as the Ace of Pentacles. So there might even be a pleasant surprise coming in um, or a pleasant invitation. It all feels very beautiful and I really can feel the tingling sensation around my heart area and it's like, oh my God, this is going to be a very good week for creative, coming together, feeling inspired, beautifying things. If it is your outer environment, your home or your inner home, um, there might be something related to family matters with the house. That could be something as well, I want to say. Uh, for some of you, just one thing, um, it could be, mean a change in location. Some of you might change your uh, change the house or are moving. Um, it could be something related to family. Maybe some... Okay, this is something that I'm getting in now. For some of you, the house is the inner life and inner change. Maybe there's something about a pregnancy or a, maybe even because we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, it might even be something um, ar around pregnancy, becoming pregnant, a child being born in this week or um, creating something. This I really feel like the more I tune in, I get the pregnant energy but it doesn't need to be with a baby with a child it could also mean something that you really want to create from something from your inside that from inside of you that you really feel like you want to express you want to create you want to it feels like bursting with life um and it all feels like super beautiful and super positive so i'm gonna leave it at that and go to the next pile <laughs> all right Let's go here and that's, I like that. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit like uh, the weather, weather forecast. I think in Germany we say the, the weather ferry. Is that something people say in English as well? The weather ferry. <laughs> that's how I feel a little bit. I'm the tarot ferry here. Um, okay, two of swords, queen of cups. I want to say something along for those cards first. The two of cups can talk about a decision, but it feels like there's a decision that you want to make or a decision that is confusing. There's something not quite clear. Making a decision out of the two of sword energy is not the best idea because you might not be balanced, you might be confused, you, your mind might be clouded with fears, something is slightly out of balance. Um, that might be related to your emotions. We have the queen of cups here, so again a cup energy, so therefore it could be related to your creativity as well. Um, I, again, I do get that this could be both, could be related to creative energy, could be related to your emotions, your feelings, that there's some sort of decision where I feel like you're not quite clear about what decision to make. Going now a little bit further down to the Lenormand cards, we have the tower and the birds. The birds, again, I want to go onto the cards of the birds first, because the, the birds can talk about stress and nervousness. 
um, and I do feel that pretty much relates to your emotional life that there is some sort of decision that gives you a little bit of stress nervousness or the feeling of a little bit an uneasy feeling uh, maybe a little bit restless um, yeah or you are literally just like nervous and stressed about it <laughs> um, there might be some communication coming in maybe a phone call or some communication related to this energy of a decision and the queen of cups again feelings emotions and then we do have the tower card so the tower could now mean different things for some of you guys it could be something very officially something related to government or to any uh, how do you say this um uh, official buildings, official companies like, oh my god, I don't know how you say this in English, but I do think you get the idea, some governmental stuff, those dry things, situations where there might be a decision that is somehow maybe giving you a hard time or making you a bit stressed out and nervous. That could be one thing. The other thing could be the tower could stand for feeling or the feeling of being alone and isolated where you feel maybe some restlessness or stressed about or yeah when it comes to this feeling of being alone or isolated if that is something that resonates here with you i do see the birds more like an a little bit of an anxious energy that is below it's like a current that is below you where you feel like maybe you can't really grab it but you feel a bit une uneasy again Again, there's something about a decision. Uh, I am not sure if a decision is going to be made this week. I feel like a decision flies around the ether here, but I'm not sure if that's now the if if it's time now to make the decision out of this energy of the birds and the two of swords. Maybe someone else is making a decision here. That could be an energy as well. And now we come to the next part or not the next part but the next interpretation of the tower which could be independence that could be something but what i, what I actually wanted to say is a withdrawal someone maybe you or someone else withdrawing it could be a separation energy and maybe that gives you stress and nervousness um maybe this decision is a little bit clouded um sometimes a two of swords can mean like someone wants to protect um their heart from being hurt uh so it could be a very rational um decision here um it might be that you feel like you want to withdraw from a certain environment from a certain person maybe from a job a friendship whatever this is i feel like that's probably an energy that is coming in here quite strongly for a lot of you guys where it somehow is related to a decision that does something to your emotional life this is why we have the queen of cups and what is this, this part? It's like the stress and nervousness. So emotions are stressed and nervous related to a decision of someone withdrawing. Uh, maybe you withdrawing here. Maybe you are not quite sure if you should make this decision. You know, so I feel like everything I could say now is basically circling around these topics that I would now just like say in different uh directions basically but i i get i think you, you know the idea now from this pile of cards so yeah that's i do feel like that's beside that we had a very beautiful energy at the beginning there's a little bit something in this week to work through i don't feel it as like oh my god that's the most horrible thing ever happened to me uh it just feels like yeah okay that's a little bit uh maybe but what's important with the two of swords is to make a balanced decision so if you are the person thinking about making a decision it's important to come into a balanced place that's the last thing i'm going to say now because otherwise i'm just gonna go around in circles saying the same thing over and over again slightly different and we have the next cards here so page of cups and the temperance we had the temperance already last month uh, last probably last month as well i feel like the temperance is a card that comes up again and again it's a card of healing it's a card of patience it's a card of balancing two things so again we do 
If I just have a look and a feel into the Page of Cups and into the Temperance card, um, which I'm going to do now for you again, that feels like a really beautiful energy. The Page of Cups is the energy of being in love, being excited. That's like the fresh brand new start. Maybe there's a new person coming into your life and you feel suddenly this in love feeling, maybe um, an existing connection has this energy again of oh my god I'm in love uh, so there might be even in an existing connection this feeling of excitement again uh, the page of cups could sometimes stand for an excuse maybe someone making an offer to you that could be something uh, the overall energy here feels very beautiful and balanced maybe there is something maybe this new start has taken a while with a temperance to manifest now and I do okay and now I need to do the other things as well the other cards cause because we do have it as you can see in combination with the ring so obviously there's some connection in your life that this refers to could be a younger person a page of cups could always be a younger person as well um, doesn't have to, of course, but um, just saying it. Let me just have a little look. Queen of Cups. Oh, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the Page of Cups. So technically, those are the cards that you would use also for another person, where you could say, oh, maybe you have a very, you are dealing with an, a water sign. So that's uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But it doesn't have to be. I'm just like throwing it in. Um, well, the Queen of Cups is more the mature energy. The Page of Cups then could be the more childlike energy or a younger person. Nevertheless, I do feel like there is balance and healing coming into this connection. What we see is with the um, with the mountain next to the ring, that I feel like there is a partnership that is challenging. There might be a delay, which could also mean that there is still some time that needs to pass you might need to be patient uh patient patience patient <laughs> oh. uh, with the temperance card and the snake can stand for delays as well so it seems like there is a challenging a challenge in a in a um a challenge in a partnership that might take a while to heal. The snake is also a healing card. Um, so I have two cards that talk about healing here, snake and the temperance. I have two cards that talk about patience because the snake can stand for a delay. Again, snake and the uh, temperance card both can talk about heal, uh, patience. Um, also, the snake can stand for another woman. That could be something as well, that there's another person involved or that might be a friendship here. The snake could be a mother, a sister, a friend. Um, so that could be an indication what relationship this is. In general though, I feel taking the uh, tarot cards into consideration again, there is a healing energy going on. It's It feels like a healing energy and maybe something new coming into this connection that feels very inspiring. Like we do have cups in every aspect and we do have this, again, with the first pile of cards and with the last now, I get those bubbly energies. It's like, yes, there's a fountain and there's joy and harmony, which is another aspect of temperance. Um, something really coming up. Yes, there might still be some blockages or challenges in this relationship, but I also get a healing energy here. It takes maybe a little bit of time still, but I do feel it's happening. All right, oh, I'm at 24 minutes, unless I have cut out the beginning. I'm never sure if I, I do this. Because <laughs> um, sometimes when you do those videos, you're just like, having the introduction a couple of times. That's how it is until I'm in the flow of talking. Uh, I wanna do another card like I did yes, uh, last week. And it's the, let me show you, it's the Threads of Fate Oracle. And we're gonna pull one card. Oh, no, that was, that were three cards. 
let me just pull one card for this week. Can we please get an extra card, a message for this week? A paradox. Let's see, shall we? Uh, obviously, the card appears here again. And I'm gonna read out the card once I found it. Mm -hmm. 103. Okay. There we are. This card is a reminder that we can hold two extremes at the same time. Sometimes we focus on things, whether internal or external, and see them as one-sided. But to hold the paradox within us requires strength. To see our most brilliant qualities and our most ugly, to acknowledge that they both live within us, is a gateway to growth. Carl Jung said, the paradox is one of our most valuable spiritual possessions. And for anyone who does shadow work, they know this to be true. But this can also be difficult for many people. If we have been raised in a rigid environment where things are viewed as black and white, it may be hard for us to accept our flaws, let alone love them. One of the best ways to slowly enter a relationship with our internal paradox is to remind ourselves that we did not create these things within us, we inherited them. It does not define us and yet we are responsible for it. To work more deeply with paradox as you witness yourself throughout the day, identify what types of thoughts you have more often, positive or negative. Uh, from, from there find the polar extreme. For example, maybe you thought, I'm so fucking lazy. I like that they talk like this. Yeah, it's literally, it's literally here. Many people are always like, oh my god, you can't talk like that. <laughs> so funny. And it's so uh, refreshing to have this um, written in here. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Um, acknowledge, <laughs> sorry, side, sidetracked. Uh, no, I just really want to acknowledge the uh, creators of this deck because it feels just like really authentic and um, actually deep. Acknowledge a couple... Uh, a couple of things that make that true. Then find the polar opposite. An example, hard working and a, uh, an example, hard working, and acknowledge a few things or experiences that prove that you are hard working. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you resonated with the reading. Maybe that helped already. Also, as I said at the beginning of the video, I can hardly recommend to tune into this video again at the middle or end of the week or if anything happens, just tune in again because it really helps to navigate you through the week. That's at least, that's, that's, at least what my experience is with the weekly energy updates and again watch it maybe at the end of the week on a Sunday and then see if everything was relatable as well. Sending you so much love from Avalon. See you next time.